hello student today we are going to study uh, the frequency response curve of a second order system so that uh, in order to study the frequency response of a second order system we have selected the basic circuit rlc uh, and to this circuit we are going to study the frequency response now here we have selected the values of rlc circuit the r value is 135 ohm l value is 10 milli henry and c value is 0.1 microfarad now these rlc values are not fixed these values depends on the transfer function that we are going to choose to which we are finding the frequency response so for the typical uh, transfer function we have selected these values and to these values we are finding the frequency response now so this is a uh, basic circuit for which we are obtaining the uh, frequency response of a second order system now these are the observations that we are going to measure the values in this experiment now for a various values of frequency we will be initially setting the input voltage and for the every input voltage and every frequency we are noting down the output voltage then we will be calculating the phase angle also we will be measuring it through the waveforms on CRO and also we will be calculating the gain and we will be calculating the gain in de decibels that we will go through coming to the apparatus so this is a, a function generator or also called as a, a signal generator now here the frequency setting is there so various range of settings are there uh, starting from 10 hertz to 100 hertz 1k 10k 100k and 1 megahertz so these are the settings by choosing the pr proper uh, button we can select the any frequency range now here this is a knob uh, which is used to vary the frequency uh, you can observe here on the display uh, the frequency is being as we rotate the frequency goes on varying now this is coming to this is a function uh, sine wave and square wave okay now for the frequency response we will be using the sine wave input signal which is sent to the our circuit and this is a square wave which is uh, used to obtain the time response okay that we will study later now this is uh, the magnitude knob okay by varying this we can set the input voltage magnitude from various range from 0 volt to 30 volt now this is attenuation uh, we can set the attenuation to 0 db or 20 db or 40 db now when these two buttons are out removed uh, the, the function generator will be set to 0 db when you press this button it will be set to 20 db and when you press this button it will be set to 40 db now coming to here we are using uh, for rlc values we are using the drbs dcb and dib now this is a drb through which we can set any value of resistance this is a dcb uh, we can set the capacitance value and this is a dib we can set any inductance value now these will be observing the waveforms on cro so here we have connected the input this is the input terminal and this we have selected as a output terminal and this is a time varying knob and this is a amplitude setting for the channel 1 this is amplitude setting for the channel 2 this is a y axis variation this is a y axis variation for the channel 1 and this is a x axis variation for the frequency response in order to obtain the frequency response we are going to take the readings of what the frequency input voltage and output voltage simultaneously go on varying the frequency now so go on varying the frequency along with that your output also so so as you go on increasing the frequency your magnitude also and magnitude of input and output voltage both are varying so for all the frequency values ranging from 100 hertz to 100 kilohertz you can take the various set of the readings and you can draw the frequency response now for the frequency response we are going to take the readings of as mentioned your output voltage input voltage for a various frequency and calculate the phase angle that also you can calculate as we have told and then calculate the gain and 
gain in decibels so once we get the observation table you will be able to obtain the frequency response by drawing it on a semi log sheet so we are we are going to take the frequency as along the x axis along y axis we are going to take the magnitude and similarly here phase waveform frequency along x axis and phase angle along the y axis so this is the waveform of magnitude versus frequency so this is a frequency response of so once we get all the values substitute the values for the transfer function and uh, you will be getting the transfer function